Hi. Here I can present a patient uh, for, who is having a periodontal disease. It's this, um, this woman, about 45 years old, who complains of uh, some pain, a little bit of pain on the lower molars. Uh, lingual side and um, apparently gum is red and there are some periodontal pocket. Uh, periodontal pocket are about seven millimeters so we see the biofilm what we take from the inside the uh, little pocket we take some plaque uh, and we mix it with some saliva and we can look at it on a microscope at 1000 uh, magnification here so what we see, uh, first thing, most important one is those um, amoeba, which are Antamoeba gingivalis. We've made some study about those um, uh, in uh, 1914, confirming it is Antamoeba gingivalis. So you see the um, little animalcule uh, here, going left on the left side, upper of it is just a nucleus of a macrophage. And you see the amoeboid movement. You see uh, the patient is infected with some motile bacteria. We can say, uh, we can call them uh, vibrios. Uh, maybe 60% of the... Um, uh, biofilm is cocci and filaments, so those are the good ones. Those are not moving ones, they look like dots and lines and lines like uh, forming like uh, some kind of a corn cob. And on the left you see the infection with uh, Tamoeba gingivalis. So this we uh, want to um, emphasize the importance of the uh, parasitic infection during periodontal disease. So uh, most dentists, they don't know about biofilm. And if you have a simple look, it takes only one minute to take the sample. There's no pain, just taking the biofilm from the infected sulcus and uh, put it on a glass slide and then looking at 1000 magnification. Here again, you have some uh, debris of um, PMN nucleus. Here in the center, you have one little baby amoeba, upper right. You have uh, on the left side, amoeba going down. You see typical uropod or uroid on this uh, parasite. So having uroid is some kind of a pathogenic uh, characteristic of Antamoeba histolytica was about the same parasite that makes a problem in the intestine and in the liver here. So you have two of those. Uh, the upper one is going around some nucleus of some kind, uh, maybe lymphocyte or whatever. And then uh, you still have 30%. 60% of uh, cocaine bacteria. Now we have three amoeba. Uh, what you can see on those amoeba is uh, the upper one. Uh, try to have a baby one on the center upper. You have a nucleus inside the amoeba and you have two um, dark circles, which are nucleus of uh, PMN or uh, neutrophil they have eaten. Here you have three of those uh, parasites. And then one little one, little baby one on the lower left corner. So it appears we're in some kind of a um, nest or um, we have uh, mother's amoeba and baby's amoeba. Here in the center right, you still have an amoeba, some normal uh, bacteria. Here again, uh, some more amoeba. And well, here again, one amoeba, you see one nucleus. This is a round circle with a dot on the center, but just a little eccentric of the center. You see the pseudopod going up. You see, um, many times you see the some kind of a road or a, a, a area where there's no back there because it comes from the upper part and go, it, it goes down. Now looking at it, it just goes up back again. So you see a baby one on the right, a mother one on the center, you have one, two, three, four, five uh, 
nucleus of a white cell they have eaten in the morning or today, epithelial cell, some epithelial cell. On the left side, PMN, dead PMN, where you see the three lobe nucleus, two of those on the left side, the center of the amoeba, of course. And then you have three amoeba going on the south or left side, one epithelial cell on the right. So my main uh, purpose is to tell the dentist and tell the periodontist and tell university authorities uh, this is uh, some kind of uh, neglect uh, disease or neglected part of periodontal disease because not looking at and not saying to the patient uh, most of the uh, patients having periodontal disease have those entamoeba parasites. So it's some kind of uh, T, big one on the uh, upper left and upper right, lower right. See two amoeba going uh, on the southwest side, full of uh, nucleus of white cell they have eaten in the, during the day. So it is important, universities and periodontists, even with new uh diagnostic uh, stage and grades it's important they do they do not tell about this so this is some kind of dishonesty from the profession from the dental profession and both from the periodontist and most important from the dental school so they don't tell the patient here was a macrophage some little move motile bacteria here again one two three four five is a big amoeba going south west and south yes yeah, south west it's big nucleus in the middle and then you have one two three four five six seven maybe nucleus of white cell they have eaten so the nucleus cannot defend yourself uh, when you have the um, amoeba present because they cannot uh, Im use their immunity, use their nets technology, use their phagocytic possibility because the amoeba uh, just prevent this to be happening. So amoeba clearly acts as a, pa a pathogen, a very aggressive pathogen. Here's a uh, amoeba going down again, macrophage on the left side, a couple of amoeba, most uh, baby amoeba, some um, uh, motile bacteria, vibrios, some spirochetes, but not much, but most are little vibrios, but in the center here you see amoeba going left and probably a um, nucleus of a macrophage on the left side. So it's important to tell the patient, always tell the patient what is happening to him. Thank you very much.